So, you just purchased your first DOT device and you want to know how to use it. Well, you've gone to the right guy. I know I look like I have everything together, and I do. This is a set, and I'm a paid actor. And I know how to activate my DOT card, but I didn't always know how to. Before I did, I mean, I kind of looked like Terry. Don't worry. At the end of this video, I promise you, you will know how to activate your DOT card. Follow me. Now, I know what you're thinking. What am I supposed to do with myself while I wait for my DOT cards to arrive? <laughs> don't fret, okay? Relax, I've got you. You don't have to worry about a thing. Open your phone, go to dot.cards, and this is where we can start setting up your account. So right here, we have our sign up and we add our profile information. Then you can add the rest of all of your exhilarating information like your name, your bio, your contact information, social media links, payment links. After all that, you can even customize the color style of your page. What more could you want? Now, all we have to do is wait for a package to be delivered. Wait for our package to be... What a beautiful sight. <laughs> and we've got the entire DOT bundle here, which includes the DOT card, the thin, and the classic. Let's activate it. We'll start with the card. Make sure you're signed into your account before activating. Then open the camera and scan the QR code in the back of your card. Follow the link and press activate to connect it to your profile, and then boom, you're finished. That was simple. As simple as not throwing the box too hard. I told you to catch it. I thought I would too, Terry. Now, the activation process for the thin and classic is practically the same as the card. But this time, instead of scanning the QR code, we're just gonna tap our DOT device directly to our phone. Make sure you finish activating your DOT device before sticking it to your phone. And if you're having trouble tapping, then just stick around and I'll give you a little private lesson. God, we can't say that. If you're having trouble tapping, then just stick around and I'll give you a very platonic public lesson. Well, now that we've tapped the DOT, we can follow the link once again. Press activate, and boom. <laughs> I mean, it's just so simple. Oh, look how happy they all are. Well, it's like kind of like a big happy family. And if one decides to leave when I'm eight, then you know, I can just disable him here. <laughs> I don't need anyone. Great, our DOT devices are finished being set up. Now we have the privilege of sticking them onto our phone. The DOT Thin is great for placing under your phone case, like so. Now if you have an iPhone, be sure not to place it on the top of your device. If you do, your phone will continuously try to scan it. And if you have an Android, don't place it in the middle. But who knows, I mean, you might be into that. You're also probably into eating muffins bottom up. There's not the handle? There's never been a handle, Terry. Great, so my thin is attached to my phone, which means I can now place my classic anywhere I like. Like maybe my laptop, my keys, my camera, my car, my eggs, butter, two cups flour, three tablespoons white sugar, two cups of milk. This is a waffle recipe. Okay, this looks pretty good though. Now, if you still can't figure out how to activate your DOT device, then you can always go to dot.cards backslash activate for a complete guide. DOT cards work by tapping them to your phone. But if you're having any difficulty with tapping, keep these quick tips in mind. The camera is open. You're in airplane mode. The flashlight is on. Tapping the wrong location or tapping with the screen off. You need to simply make sure the screen is on and tap on the sweet spot. Each phone has its own sweet spot. The iPhone sweet spot is on the top. If you own an Android, then the sweet spot is in the middle. And here's how tapping works with an Android. If you own an iPhone 7, 8, or X, there's one more step. Open the control center and press the NFC button. It should look like this. An alternative way to share your DOT profile is by using the DOT code. It's a handy backup in case you have any trouble tapping. Just open your profile and press the share icon in the upper right hand corner. Here's my DOT profile with all my info. You can open my links, follow me, and save my contact to your phone by pressing the save button here. After you press save and the contact pops open, make sure you finish the process to add it as a new contact. Well, that's it everyone. Now you know how to set up all of your DOT devices. So get out there, go network, and remember, be more like me, and less like, just, just turn the muffin around. Turn the muffin. Oh.